Hey everybody, Captain Blunder here. Welcome back to Plunder or oh, Blunder, where I have been having a super busy week, have not been able to record the amount of content that I would have liked to, didn't get to finish off the Light Side Hoth TV, but that's okay, there'll be another one in just a couple weeks and we'll finish it off then, but for now, I'm very excited for the release of Bo-Katan uh, let's, let's let's start off with the newsletter, let's see what is she about. Bo-Katan the fierce Night Owl agent, Death Watch Lieutenant, and once upon a time Dark Saber wielder marks her arrival to the Hollow Tables by calling on Mandalorians to unite, the bat uh, unite in battle. A firm believer in the martial history of Mandalore, Bo-Katan is usually uh, well positioned to recruit allies to further her objectives and dispense of her enemies. Bo-Katan stands ready to provide leadership and synergy for the Mandalorian faction by calling them to assist, providing valuable protection bonuses, dispelling debuffs, and granting critical damage increases. Whoa, that sounds good. She also has the ability to inflict days, awesome, and vulnerable on enemies, increasing the effectiveness of any band of Mandalorians she is leading. Add Bo-Katan to your roster of heroes by completing her all-new marquee event and help her claim her rightful place in Mandalorian history. I think we're about to do that. Additionally, ooh, ooh, this is interesting, Candorous Ordo's unique ability, Mandalorian Veteran, and Sabine's special Demolish have been upgraded to synergize with the Mandalorian tag in addition to existing factions. Cool! Very cool, so we just got a soft update to Candorous and Sabine as well. Let's go check it out. Let's see. We're gonna pop in there first, but first I want to see what were these updates to Sabine and to Candorous. So let's check it out real quick. Let's just see how they differ. I am on my main, by the way. Didn't, don't have nearly man, uh, the size of Mandos compared to, uh, 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 to, to uh, the Captain Blunder account. Also, I uh, just wanted to point this out. I didn't do the Armor Marquee event, and I'm super pissed off right now because that's 50 shards I missed out on because I thought I had done the event, but it turns out I just did it on a, a different account. So this is annoying to me, but that's just that's just my cross to bear. Anyway, all right, Candor Sordo. Okay, so we got Mandalorian Veteran has been changed. So let's see. At the start of the battle, Candorus gains 10% health steal in potency for each Mandalorian. Old Republic and Scoundrel Ally. Okay. Whenever Candorus deals damage to an enemy, he inflicts a damage over time effect for two turns. Okay, so they added the Mandalorian tag in here. Awesome. So, he's going to get 10% health steal for each. And I, I wonder if it's going to double if it's a Mandalorian Scoundrel. I'm not sure. We'll have to see how it plays out. And then let's check out Sabine because we got an update to Demolish. We got an update to Demolish. And oh! Ooh! Ooh! See, I didn't say to this. But now... Now it looks like, cause yeah, deal physical damage to all enemies, expose and stagger target enemy for two turns, this can be countered or evaded, but now it adds. For each Mandalorian and Phoenix ally, deal 15% more damage and expose a random enemy. Mandalorian and Phoenix allies gain critical chance up and offense up for two turns. Ooh, if this attack scores a critical hit, reduce Sabine's cooldowns by two. This can't be countered or evaded. This actually sounds like Sabine's Zeta may be worthwhile now. It really might be because really we can pull her out of the Phoenix squad, put Chopper in there instead uh, for whatever, whatever we need. And then we have Sabine ready as a Mandalorian character for a Mando squad. So dope. I'm going to think about that. But for now, let's go in to the marquee event. I want to see what Bo-Katan Kariz is all about. Let's check it out. We're gonna we're gonna pair her up with the Mandos. We're gonna do Mando stuff. Seeing just how well her synergy works with other Mandos, maybe try out maybe try out another idea or two, but she seems really Mandalorian oriented. Mandalorian oriented. Okay, yeah, that works. Uh, so we'll just uh, we're, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to see how this all works. Uh, okay, so ooh, who who can we uh, for each scoundrel ally at the beginning uh, at the start of battle, excluding summon ally scoundrel allies gain five percent max health, max protection, and offense. Ooh, that could be good. I haven't really messed with Mando Beskar. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's start with that, and then we'll do Django. Uh, the other Mando, Candorous, and we'll throw in Sabine. Let's go. Let's check it out. Let's see what they got in store for us today. Very excited to try that. Try out Bo-Katan. Bo-Katan? 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 
floats in spam? I don't know. Alright. Bo-Katan Kariz is an inspiring Mandalorian leader who works best with other Mandalorians. Mmm. Inflict vulnerable on her target. If she attacks out of turn, she instead deals 50% more damage. So if we get call-ins, she's going to do tons of damage. Ooh, there we go. There we go. And we got the vulnerable, so critically hit if possible. Dispel all debuffs. It's going to gain defense up, taunt, and tenacity. Okay, we, we don't need that. Let's go ahead and just AoE. Put those damage over time onto everybody. And let's get Dangar out of there. And we will call in. Uh, oh, we can only call in another bounty hunter. So that is that. And let's go ahead and apply burning. And let's target the Gamorrean Guard. Because why not? How often do you see a Gamorrean Guard these days? Ooh. Oh, oh, these Collins. All right, let's put a Darksaber up on the Enforcer. And... All right, what do we got here? Crippling Strike, dispel all buffs on all enemies, daze for two turns, and deal physical damage to them. All right, let's just give it a shot. Ooh, I like the animation. All right, finish them off. There we go. All right, round one done. All right, all right. It's not a very, I mean, it's not a very hard challenge. We're getting, getting to test her out a little bit, and I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. I'm very much enjoying this. All right, here we go. Into two. We're gonna do the same squad. Do some more main. You know, maybe I should have tried a different lead. It's all right. We got a couple more to try. We got a couple more. We can just try, just try some things out. Ooh, ooh, against Geos. This will be fun. All right, we'll go ahead. Uh, they don't have anything we can dispel, but we got the days, which is great. And I want to go ahead and do a basic onto Geo Spy since it's got protection up. Really really stack some DOTs. All right, now we want to get rid of Brute Alpha because, yeah, he was going to summon. Oh, but he didn't summon anyone, so that's very interesting. All right, let's go ahead. Try and take out Brute Alpha. And let's apply Burning to Brute Alpha. Reduce his health, and let's go ahead. AoE. All right, and now we're going we're gonna to throw out the Mini Mines. Non-upgraded Mini Mines. But you know what? There's still Mini Mines. And let's take out Poggle. Let's let's just Trapnel Blast Soldier. And it took out Spy with the splash damage. So awesome. Okay. Alright. So I wish I wish the Geos were a little more powerful. That way we could see if maybe this would be a new counter to Geos. I doubt it. I, I seriously doubt it. That's okay though. Alright. Here we go. Tier 3. Let's try it differently. Let, oh, nope. We're gonna we're gonna do the uh what they give us here. We're just going to do this. All right. Yeah, this looks pretty good. I get to try out the armor, who I'm just going to say again, I didn't do the marquee event for whatever freaking reason, and I'm trying not to be mad. It's okay. It's okay. I'll get the shards. I'll pick up the shards, because I'm going to have to farm that node anyway now. So, all right. Unite Clans calls other Mandalorian allies to assist whenever a Mandalorian ally uses a basic during their turn. I, I know. I've been liking that. It also grants stacking critical damage to Mandalorian allies who attack out of turn. I know. It's really, really cool. All right. Uh, we want to get rid of it. doesn't matter. They're going to revive it uh, half health. So we can really take out whoever we want. But I don't want the Death Trooper throwing out days uh, because he can attack twice now that he has... Uh, now that he gets, uh, he gets to attack twice if he's got an Imperial, or, uh, uh, Imperial Remnant. Here we go. All right, we're going to do the Dispel. All right, and we got Dazes up. Let's go ahead, AoE. And Mini Mines. And let's go ahead. Uh, she's at two stacks, so let's, uh, uh, nope, it wasn't that one. This is the way. All right. Which is the one? This okay, now we're gonna do this. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. All right. Oh, we didn't get the revive. They must not have put the Zeta on to on to Moth Gideon. All right, we're gonna deal physical damage to all enemies, dealing double damage to enemies with less than 50% turn meter. Enemies that had at least 50% turn meter lose 30% turn meter. All right, cool. There we go. And basic. And let's 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 finish off the Magma Trooper. And then we can take out the Remnant Stormtrooper. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, just, uh, just, uh, just want to point out. He's got, a uh, slightly, he's got battle damage armor and a different name. Maybe we're going to get a new Stormtrooper here soon? I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to speculate too much, but I'm liking that. I'm really liking ha 
how that's reading. All right, we're going to finish him off. There we go. All right. All right, a little bit of speculation here and there. That is something very interesting to see. Oh, wouldn't you know it? I'm out of I'm out of spaces for mods. Who would have ever thought this this long into the game that you might not have any mod spaces left? All right, here we go. So we're gonna we're gonna borrow the characters again, putting Bogotan in the lead. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. There it goes. Jeez. All right. Uh, grants match protection to Mandalorian allies for each Mandalorian ally while also allowing them to recover health whenever a Mandalorian attacks out of turn. I know, it's real, real cool. Not gonna lie. All right, we're gonna just do the basic. Calling in other people. All right, let's go ahead and do the AoE. Really wanna knock out Gar Saxon. All right, and, oh, you all have buffs? No, you don't. And you dazed. All right, all right, here we go. Look at Armor Shred until the end of the calling on Mandalorian. What is... How do you... Huh. It's been forever since I've used the armor. And, oh, if the target has armor shred, then we get the thing. Okay. All right. So we got to apply armor shred. I forgot how it works. It's been, like I just said, it's been forever since I've used the armor and... <sighs> okay, so we're going to put an armor shred on you. All right, now... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead. Yeah, let's get the setup going. Get some whistling burbs ready. Oh, look at it go. Look at them all go! Alright, and now we do the basic, then we get a stack. There it is! That's how we get the stacks of armor. Okay, there's the best our ingots that we can then give to other people. Boom, and whistling burbs. <laughs> I'll never get tired of that. I'll never get tired. I, I still know he's not the best He's not the best legendary character we've ever seen. I will never get tired of whistling burbs. Alright. Alright, here we go. All right, so we get a borrow. Beskar, Mando, and bo -Katan. So, that means... All right, all right, all right. Let's, uh... Ooh. Who are we gonna try out here? All right. Let's do Mando. And let's do Candorous. And... Uh, but, you know, let's do Django because the Mandalorian will be able to call him in since he's the only other bounty hunter. Let's just give it a shot. Doesn't matter. We probably could have done Sabine, too, to get some more armor shred going. Uh, oh, but then I don't have the armor, so it doesn't matter. It does not matter. Green's Mandalorian allies, uh, ability ancestral armor, allowing them to dispel all debuffs and uh, from themselves in game defense up, taunt, and tenacity up. All right, let's just let's just try it. Doesn't matter. Okay. The way I read it, it sounded like everybody gets taunt, but no, it's just the one the one character, which is totally cool. All right, let's go ahead. Apply burning. Goodbye to all your buffs. And let AoE. Alright, let's let's just let's pick off. It doesn't matter. Yeah, again, we're getting more remnants. I'm liking. I'm really liking just, just seeing remnant things in here. It's furthering my suspicions about uh more incoming. Uh, uh legends. Le uh, legends events, hopefully, hopefully. More Mando stuff. Very excited for the man of things. All right, let's go ahead. Shrapnel blast. Took him out. And let's see if we can pick off TFP. Nope, it was not enough. There we go. Now he's out of there. And I mean, really don't need it. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's so fine and dandy. Doing basics. Calling in. There we go. Awesome. Very, very awesome. Okay, and I think, I think we got one more. I think we got one more tier to go through. And then let's just go, go over her kit real quick. And, uh, and it, we'll just, we'll, we'll see what we should mod her for. Because I'm very curious. Already, it seems like we should be doing crit damage and chance with her. That is just what I think. All right, and mm, do we want to try another, another leader? I mean, but they're not all of them are bounty hunters, so it doesn't really make sense to put Django or Mando into the lead. Sabine does not have a leadership ability. No, neither does Candorous. So, you know, we're just going to keep this. We're going to keep this. I, I Also, because I was looking for a place to put my best car Mando, and it's looking like he's beginning to have a home, which I'm very, very glad to see, because I had no idea where to put him, other than with other scoundrels. All right, uh, let's go for Death Trooper first. That was, that was awesome. All right, oh no, he did the boot stomp. All right, here we go. Okay, so it's a lock buff, so that shouldn't do anything. Let's just go ahead and AoE. 
All right, and now, uh, yeah, let's get rid of Moff Gideon, because he's just, he's just a big old jerk. All right, he's out of there. Before, before we give him the chance to apply more Darksaber and uh, control the battlefield, we don't want him doing that. He's really good at controlling the battlefield. All right, let's put a Darksaber up. All right, and goodbye, buffs. Oh, love that animation. That is, that is just really fun. Ooh. Oh, man, this is awesome. This is really awesome. All right, Shrapnel Blast. Took them both out! All right, just so much extra crit damage being fed by Bo-Katan. So much extra crit damage. This is awesome. This is really, really awesome. So, let's go back and let's just check out, let's check out her kit real quick and uh, see if we can make a speculation on how we should mod her. All right, let's, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and just activate her, because why not? Why not? I really do want Bo-Katan. Uh, I, th I think she's really good. I think I, I think we're getting more Mandalorian characters. We're getting we're getting new homes to put some of our mismatched, misplaced Mando characters. So let's go ahead. I'm just gonna bring her up to 85 real quick. Just 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 because. All right. Let's read through her abilities. So we got practiced aim. Deal physical damage to target enemy if Bo-Katan. If, if it is Bo-Katan's turn, inflict vulnerable for one turn, otherwise deal 50% more damage. Okay, so already it's telling me uh, I'm either going to want to do offense or crit damage. I'm thinking more crit damage already, so let's check out Crippling Strike. Dispel all buffs on all enemies, then daze them for two turns and deal physical damage to them. Okay, again, now I'm seeing crit damage, possibly offense if you want to go that route, but we want to look for some potency within those mods to help inflict that daze, because it doesn't say uh, this uh, this can't be avoided, uh, so so we might want to get some po uh, some potency in there, and then unite all the clans, unite the clans. Whenever a Mandalorian ally uses a basic during their turn, they call another random Mandalorian ally to assist, dealing 20% less damage, limit once per turn, so they're only going to assist once. Whenever a Mandalorian ally attacks out of turn, they gain 25% critical damage, max 5 stacks. So up to 125% damage. That is a lot of extra crit damage. Until the end of their next turn. Okay. So they have a chance to get, if they if they manage to get 5 call and assists before their, their next turn, they're going to get the max stacks. And then, okay... At the start of the of <laughs> at the start of encounter, all Mandalorian allies are granted ancestral armor. Ancestral armor dispel all debuffs on this character, then gain defense up, taunt, and tenacity up for two turns. Okay, cool. So we get an extra ability if she is in the leadership position. And again, now that I'm reading, 25% extra critical damage. I know it doesn't apply to everybody else, but for her, I'm still thinking crit damage is the way to go on this. It really seems like what we want to do and here's the last thing stronger together at the start of battle mandalorian allies gain 20 percent max protection for each mandalorian ally until the first time bo katan is defeated okay so we we get if we have an entire team of mandalorians that means we're getting 100 percent max max protection for everybody awesome Whenever a Mandalorian ally attacks out of turn, Mandalorian allies recover 8% health and protection. Okay, so cool. So we're getting some really increased survivability here for the Mandalorians and getting extra crit damage for attacking out of turn, which is going to happen all the time. We just saw it's going to happen all the time. So really, what I think you are going to want to look for when you're looking at mods, I'm personally thinking crit damage and chance. I was kind of thinking offense. But uh, there was nothing, there were no qualifiers in there saying dealing true damage, uh, anything that indicates that she's not going to be dishing out major amounts of crit damage. And we're definitely going to want to look for speed in there. But the other things that I would suggest that you look for within the mods is going for things with potency in it going for yeah the potency in it and a little bit of extra offense might not be bad uh, we want to get that potency for when we do the dispel also making sure the days gets applied so definitely definitely would recommend doing crit damage and chance with uh with looking for offense with it or sorry not looking for offense looking for potency 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 look for potency in them if you can get a little bit of extra offense in there too but at the end of the day it should be the main priority speed 
followed by potency and then offense. That's what I think you should really look for. So very excited to try her out. Gonna mod her up and uh, see, see where she's useful and uh, sit here and cry because I don't have my 50 armor shards that I should have gotten weeks ago. Don't know what happened, but that was really cool. That was really fun. Very excited for the new Mando stuff coming down the pike. So don't forget, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to put out content when I can. Trying to do a little more often. We're going to keep pushing forward. We're going to keep coming out with stuff. And until next time, everybody, cheers.